We use glucose as fuel for the body. Glucose provides energy in the form of ATP so that cells can perform their function. In order for this to occur, glucose must undergo catabolism. Glucose is broken down under the following two different conditions. Anaerobic, meaning without oxygen, and aerobic, meaning with oxygen. The first step of carbohydrate catabolism is glycolysis, and it occurs in the cytoplasm of human cells. Glycolysis is an anaerobic process. In anaerobic catabolism, glucose is broken down through a series of chemical reactions into pyruvic acid and then into lactic acid. Because most of the energy remains within the lactic acid molecule, this totally anaerobic process of glucose catabolism yields little ATP. The focus of this demonstration of glucose catabolism will be on the aerobic catabolism of glucose. If oxygen is available, glucose is broken down during three series of chemical reactions and ultimately forms carbon dioxide, water, and energy, or ATP. In this process of glucose catabolism, glucose is first broken down to pyruvic acid in the cytoplasm. Glycolysis splits one molecule of glucose into two molecules of pyruvic acid. This portion of the process is also anaerobic, and a small amount of ATP is released as well. However, as the breakdown of glucose continues to the next step, the citric acid cycle, oxygen will be required, making it an aerobic process.